Bobby. You are not going after Frank Smith. You'll be killed. He killed my father. He's going to pay. He be gun down the minute you Give me the keys. Him. And let you get murdered? I Never. I said give me the keys. You're going to have to beat me up to get them. Steve, is something wrong? No, honey. I'm just going to grab a glass of milk. Hello? Yes, Leslie. afraid Patty wouldn't make it through the night. Look, Audrey and I will be there as soon as we can. Oh? Well, yeah, yes, I think that's an excellent idea. Then we'll wait for them here. But what about Joe? I see. Well, don't worry about him, Leslie. He's in good hands if Bobby's with him. Let us know if there's any help you need at the hospital. calling at this hour? It was Leslie from the hospital. Patty Kelly died a little while ago. Oh, Steve. Yes, it's very sad. Oh, I feel so sorry for Rose and for Joe. Well, we better get to the hospital and see what we can do to help. Hmm? Well, Leslie's doing all that, then Howard Lansing offered to help her out. Oh, Dear Howard, he's always there when he's needed. Leslie thought we should remain here. Anne and Jeff are bringing Rose over. Oh, good. I'm so glad. She... It's a time when she can use some friends. And, and Joe, I suppose he's coming with her too, right? No. No, it seems that he left the hospital without saying a word, and Leslie's very worried about him. Well, doesn't anyone know where he is? No, but apparently Bobby Spencer went after him, so I, I suppose they're together. Oh, I'm sure she's there to help him. Well... Let's get some clothes on, Audrey, you know, I can't quite understand Leslie's concern about Joe. But, darling, of course she's concerned about him. I mean, she knows how much he loved his father. But there seemed to be a certain amount, uh, well, of fear in her voice. Fear? That's, that's the only way I can describe it. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of fear inside Leslie. I mean, after all, she has a daughter out there, who knows where, and this vicious attack on Patty, I'm sure, has made her worry more about her daughter. And if Laura and Luke Spencer are out there somewhere without much money, who, who knows what kind of people they're running into, what they're having to do to keep their heads above water just to stay alive. Come on. He's in the kitchen. Good, I'm sure we're going to need it. It's going to be a long night, I'm afraid. You know, Audrey, I think perhaps Rose should stay overnight with us. Well, maybe, but she may want to go home instead. I hate to think of her being a, at home all alone. Well, we'll see how she feels about that. I know if anything happened to you... Audrey. I would want to be right upstairs in the bed we've shared. Darling, nothing's going to happen to me. I know. It's just it's such a sad time for Rose. I know, I know. I mean, it's sad for anyone, but for a young woman being left alone. Uh... We'll do everything we can for her. All of us will. Yeah, that's what right. What are you guys? Are you all dressed? Jeremy, I'm sorry. Did we wake you up? No, I'm... I heard the phone ring. It uh, was Leslie Weber calling from the hospital. <sighs> About... Yes, Jeremy. About Patty Kelly. He passed away during the evening. It's a very sad time right now. I mean, I don't know what makes people go around stabbing other people. I can't explain that, Jeremy. A senseless act of violence like that no one can explain, but right now we have to try and help Joe and Rose. I don't know how to do that. The best way is not to remind them of what caused Patty's... Patty's death, because... Well, Joe's very angry about that. Jeremy, you just remember what a fine man Patty was. How much love he gave, and... Listen, how much fun he was, too. Yeah, remember him at the Fourth of July picnic? Yes, the tug of war. Yeah, everybody's accusing everybody of cheating. <laughs> That's right, well, those are the kinds of things to remember. You know something? What's that? Mike Phelan's gonna be pretty sad. Well, that's right, he is. He was very fond of Patty. 
I guess I better phone him. Well, not tonight. Uh, it, it's very late. You don't want to wake him up or his grandmother. I meant in the morning. Well, I'm sure you appreciate that. I know, but what do I say? You know what to say. I guess. You know, Jeremy, Ann, and Jeff are going to bring Rose by in a little bit, so if you'd like to say something to her, that would be fine. I know, but what should I say to her? Well, just make it very brief. Say that you're sorry. She'll know how you feel. What about Joe? He must be feeling pretty awful right now, huh? Yes, I'm sure he is. It's a terrible thing when a son loses a father. Yeah, I know. Oh, Jeremy. You're not going to give me the keys? No. No. I'm sorry, Joe. I hate to do this to you, but I am not letting you go after Frank Smith. For what? You'd be killed. Just to satisfy your need for revenge? You have the exact same needs. Yes. I do, but we have to do it in the right way, Joe. We have to think of Patty. That is all I can think about. Patty wouldn't want this for you. Patty wouldn't want this need for revenge. It's as if you want to remember him dead rather than alive. That's not true at all. The only way I can remember Patty is alive and well and ambling down the waterfront saying hello to everybody he knew. He was one of the friendliest men I've ever known. I know that every night of the world that man used to walk that entire waterfront just to say hello to everybody. He knew everybody. And if he didn't go in to say hi to you, he at least knocked on the window. And you just feel just good about being alive. Joe. No. I'm okay. You'll always be alive in your heart. When I was a little boy, I thought my dad owned the whole world. At least the whole waterfront. Everything was his lock, stock, and barrel. I thought everybody worked for him. Turned out to be the other way around. Oh, well. Tell me about some of the things you did when you were a kid. showed me everything there was to see, at least everything the waterfront rat could go see. You went fishing a bet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> fishing. And to see my dad's eyes light up whenever he was out on the sea. Fishing. That was his whole life. He came from a long line of fishermen, didn't he? Yeah. But then by the time he took over the family business, the big fishing industries and made it pretty nigh impossible for the independent fishermen. So then business on the great waters became no more, and my old man took a job as a longshoreman just to make a living, you know. Just to stay alive. Oh, man's not alive anymore. My pop is dead, Bobby. He's dead. <sighs> Sorry, Bobby, I shouldn't have fallen apart like that. Nobody ever needs to apologize for grief, Joe. <sighs> Thank you, too, for stopping me from doing something rash. Hey, I understand. I've got to learn to put my anger to better use. Yes, you must. And I will, too. First, I have to take care of Pop. I have to make arrangements. You want to talk to Rose about that, yeah. won't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Rose. I didn't even say anything to her, let alone try to console her. I'm sure Rose understands your need to be alive. I wonder if she's still in there. Well, she might have left the hospital. Somebody may have taken her home. Uh, well, we can check. Joe, what kind of service will you and Rose want? A memorial service, maybe. Nothing formal, Bob. Bob wouldn't go for that, no. Um, the funeral could be private, and then... For the service, maybe we could just have some friends into the diner, you know, fill them full of food. And, 
Talk about old times with old friends and recent times with new-made friends. The Hardys, Leslie Weber. Jeff? Oh, Jeff worked so hard to try to save Patty's life. Yes, he did. Do you know he thinks of himself as your best friend? Same here. I have another wonderful friend, too. His name is Bobby Spencer. Listen, I haven't forgotten about our plan. We'll stick with it just as soon as I take care of Pop. Okay? Of course. When the funeral's over, we'll get right back to it. I mean, right on it. You still go for the idea? I'm holding Jennifer hostage, you bet I do. No, we're not going to hurt her at all. We've got to make Smith believe that we'll kill her. I can't think of a better way to keep my brother alive. And Laura. So that man's got to be stopped. Frank Smith has got to be stopped. First it was my brother on the run for the rest of his life. And with my man I was going to get married to got killed. And now it's your father. Your father. the one who's starting to break into tears in the <laughs> Can't a lady ever turn? What a wonderful lady you are, Bob. Thank you for being here. I'm your friend. And roses. You bet. <sighs> Shall we go find her? Yeah, she's gonna need you now. I just hope I can help her. I'm able to through all of this. Audrey. Oh. Come on in, Rose. Hi. My purse. What did I do? I've got your purse right here, Rose. It's okay. Oh, Rose, it's so good to see you. Come in, come in. I'm keeping you up. No, no, no. We, we couldn't have slept. Jeremy, you stayed up. Um, yeah, kind of. Rosa. Jeremy would like to say hello. Uh, excuse my pajamas. I just want to say I'm really sorry. Jeremy was talking about what fun he had with Patty in that 4th of July picnic. Yeah. yeah, that was quite a little picnic we had there. A lot of laughing, joking around. Patty always did appreciate it when people were having fun, bless him. Yeah, he sure was swell. Yeah. Well, I think we ought to get you off to the sack. What do you say? Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, good night, Mom. Good night. Bye-bye, Mrs. Kelly. Good night, Jeremy. Rose. Rose, please sit down. Yeah. Uh, could I get you some uh, coffee or maybe a sandwich? Oh, no. Nothing, thanks. Shouldn't you try to eat something? Yeah, a sandwich might go good, Rose. I'm sorry, I just can't. Well, maybe later then. I shouldn't stay long. I... <sighs> we thought maybe you could spend the night here. It's very kind of you. But... Rose is a little worried about Joe. But I'm sure Bobby's with him. Yeah, we left a message at the hospital and said that we um, had Rose with us and we'd meet him at the diner later. Right? And I just feel like I should be home now. Yes, of course. I can understand that. Somehow I think I'll feel closer to Patty. Of course. Yeah. Except he's gone, isn't he? Not really. Not if he's in your heart, Rose. He'll never really be gone for any of us. Right now, though, all I can think about is that he's dead. That he was knifed to death. Rose, Rose, try not to dwell on that. Yeah, it's going to do nothing but make you angry. Well, I am angry. Because there's a lot more to what happened to Patty than just some random mugging. What do you mean, Rose? I mean there are people who have to be stopped. And Patty knew it, and his son Joe knew it. And they were willing to take a stand against it. But who else is willing to do that? I wasn't. No, I was too afraid. Afraid of what might happen to Patty. Afraid he would end up just the way he did with a knife in his back. Well, I'm not going to be afraid anymore. I'm going to stand up and be counted. And we all have to do that if there's ever going to be a stop to this violence.